I'm Barbara. I'm Jen. And we're the mother-daughter team behind Pressure Cooking today. It, we, our recipes work in any brand of pressure cooker, so we're demoing it on an Instant Pot since so many of our readers have Instant Pots, but you can do this in your foodie, and your milky, and whatever brand you have, this will work great for you. Yeah, today we're going to do pulled pork. Barbecue pulled pork, it's so yummy. It's an easy, easy recipe, and it's done in a fraction of the time that you would take in the slow cooker or in the oven. And I love this with the slow, because when you cook it in the slow cooker, you smell barbecue sauce all day long. And by the time it's finally done, you're sick of smelling it. So the pressure cooker is great. You can put it in. It's got a little bit longer cook time. Um, so you put it in then you go play with your kids or you go watch something on Netflix or you go walk your dog, whatever works best for you. Yeah. So we're gonna start by browning it. We gotta get the pressure cooker hot. Um, we're gonna use it on saute more so oh, that it's... Saute and adjust to more. When you wanna adjust it to more, you can just hit the saute button again and see how it goes from less, normal, and more. So we are good there. So for pulled pork, I like to use pork shoulder, which has more marbling, a little more fat, and it comes out much more tender. Uh, it's a pork butt is part of the pork shoulder. Today I've got a pork picnic roast. Picnic. That, that's boneless, which I like, but we cut it into two pieces. Yeah, when you cut, so in your pressure cooker, when you've got one big, huge honking piece of meat, it cooks a lot longer. If you cut it in half, your cook time will go down. And so if you see, you know, pork recipes online and you're like, this one has a 95 minute cook time, this one has a 75 minute cook time, this is a 40 minute cook time. It's probably because the size of the pork, because a smaller thing will cook, the internal temperature will cook through quicker. So we like the two pieces. It makes it easier to saute and to yeah. fit inside your cooking pot. So there's four pounds of pork, but we've cut it into two pound pieces. And now we're just gonna put salt and pepper on it. You could also put all kinds of seasoning, but we've kept it simple on this easy pulled pork recipe. Um, then we're gonna brown it. Yep. So because we've got it, we want it to be really hot inside the pot so that when you put your meat in, you get this really nice sear. So if you've got an Instant Pot model, it will actually, once it's heated up enough, it will read hot right here on the display. So once, once it reads hot, we're gonna put the oil in first. We like to wait to put the oil in until it says hot, just so you don't scorch your oil and have it smell kind of yucky in your kitchen. Okay, so the pot's hot. And the recipe calls for one or two tablespoons of oil. Um, that's just if, if one tablespoon's not enough to saute all the meat, you can add the second tablespoon. So you've got that measured out right there add it oh that's nice and hot it scatters all over the place um your pressure cooking pot is domed on the bottom so the oil will run to the side brown one piece at a time yeah. what we're trying to do is build layers of flavor so by browning it you build um, flavor into the sauce that we're going to add in at the end yeah so it tastes better than just plain old pork with barbecue sauce on it it's more complex and yummy that way but you don't have to brown all the sides because you get enough flavoring from just the one side. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to brown on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it easily releases from the bottom. Then you know that it's brown. You see how it easily released? If it, if it didn't release, then... Um, you just put it back down and let it cook a little yeah. longer. So um, we, can, we can just swirl that. When oil it starts a little bit. Like this, I'll actually lift it up away from the bottom of the pot to get to let it cool off a bit. You ready, Mom? Yep. Go for it. All right, we'll just brown this other side up yep. and then we'll go ahead and add our cooking liquid. Okay, so this one is ready as well. Do you want to turn the cancel the saute setting? We'll take out the Meat. brown pork. Alright, and then we'll add our water. It's going to be a... And it mostly deglazed, but if there is anything stuck on the bottom, you just want to go ahead and scrape that up now. Anything stuck on the bottom is good flavor you want in your sauce. Okay, go ahead and add that barbecue sauce. Okay, half a cup of barbecue sauce. We're not adding any additional liquid, we're only adding a half a cup. Um, a lot of pressure cookers will say there's a one cup minimum requirement, but because pork releases so much liquid as it cooks, you really don't need a lot more liquid. If it makes you nervous to add just a half a cup, you can absolutely add a cup full of liquid, but just keep in mind that you may need to simmer your pork after you're done cooking. Okay, so go ahead and put your pork in the pot and just make sure you don't stack it on top of each other. You want to 
side by side so they don't cook like a thicker piece of meat. And then you get your lid and always, always, always be in the habit of double checking that your lid, that your um, silicone gasket is in place, that you've got the little mini gasket on, you've got your valve, everything looks good, right mom? Yeah, thanks. Put it on, line up those. Lock it into place. Lock it into place. And then the time on this one is 75 minutes. So you hit pressure cook and then, oh, we have up, way up. 75. So we're using the Duo Nova and it doesn't have a start button, but if yours has a start button, go ahead and press the start button. Also, this one automatically seals, but if yours, if you have a Duo, you need to make sure that it's in the sealing position. And that's it. Now we just wait for 75 minute cook time and then a natural pressure release on that one. And then we'll shred it up and finish it up. Okay, so the pressure is naturally released. The valve is dropped, so we'll just unlock that lid. We're gonna take the pork out and put it on a rimmed baking sheet to shred. We love to do it this way. Damn, lift it up because it the rim kind of keeps the juices on there. So if you just put it, on, you can put it on just a cutting board, but it just kind of this helps keep the mess at bay a little bit. So. And we put the cutting board on the rimmed baking sheet, so it makes it easy. There we go. Okay, next we're going to strain the cooking liquid. So probably need some hot pads if it's really hot. This has cooled down quite a bit from the natural You're release. Tough, Mom. So we're just gonna pour it into this strainer. Um, if you don't have a strainer like this, you can just put the strainer over a bowl and then use a spoon to skim off the fat. Okay, that, that's probably good enough. Okay. All right, so now we just need to shred that. You wanna put those out of the way? and it should be so tender that it just comes apart really easily. If you start shredding it and you have to really pull really hard, you can just put your meat back in the pressure cooker for another couple minutes. Um, you really want it nice and shreddable soft. It's just, it tastes great, feels great in your mouth when you have it that way. If you come across any bits of fat, you can just go ahead and pick those out at this point. If some of the pieces are kind of long, you can just get some scissors and snip those apart. Kitchen shears are some of my favorite things with kids. You can just cut their food into bites really quickly with them. Good? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, the pork is all shredded, okay. so let's go ahead and put it back in the pot. Do you add it first? I usually add the half a cup first. Do you? I always add this. There's no right way to pressure cook. That's what we believe. Just whatever works best for you. Sometimes when I'm doing this at home, I'll just use the cutting board and fold it up into like a taco shape. Okay, so the pork is in the pot. We're going to add back some of that cooking liquid that we use because it's so flavorful and um, the shredded meat will really absorb it. You add in about a half a cup, add more or less depending how um, dry your pork looks. And after I serve it, I generally I hold on to the juices until after I'm done serving them and then I'll put a little bit of juice in each. Like we usually when we freeze them, we'll freeze them in individual Ziploc bags. And so I like to put a little bit of that extra juice in there just to help it reheat a little better. And then you're gonna wanna add about a half a cup of barbecue sauce. And Jen might, might <laughs> measure have it out. Picky kids. Well, we have picky kids, <laughs> so we generally don't add any extra barbecue sauce. And then we just add the barbecue sauce to each individual sandwich, just to make all the kids happy. And my husband likes it really saucy. He puts so on so much. Today you're gonna get it saucy. <laughs> We like to use the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's just our family's favorite, but you can use whatever is your favorite, whatever spice level and combination that you like the best, you wanna to add to this recipe because that's really where a lot of the flavor comes from. Yeah, so you want it moist and saucy and you can turn on the saute function, the saute function to warm it up just a little bit if it needs it, but it's looking pretty great. So we're gonna to toast up some buns and then we'll come back and serve it up. Yep. Okay, so it's all warmed up and we've got the barbecue sauce. We're just gonna plate it up. Yep, we've added extra barbecue sauce and then we'll put some more on top. Made a mess. All right, this is meant to be messy. Wear a bib when you eat it. Here we go. You gotta do this? Yeah, gotta have a little more barbecue sauce on top. That's just how dad would like it. Dad would like it with a little bit of coleslaw too. 
There we go. All right, so this is a really easy recipe that you guys just enjoy.